Good morning, grandkids. Well, I think I'll do a little vlog today. And uh, I've been doing laundry and I don't know what all, so I thought I'd stop and play for a while. Uh, I believe that I showed you this book when I got it. Um, this author, see there below, she sent me her first two books, and I enjoyed them very much, and I just now finished another book I was reading and got to start this one. Uh, this one's called The Air of Gluttony. <laughs> anyway, the first two books, these are about some uh, teenagers who just, well, at least this main character girl uh, just got out of high school and somehow or other her and her companions, and some of her companions are really strange characters. One is a wolf and it goes on like that. <laughs> and uh, I mean a talking, person wolf and uh, uh, I, I know that they're out of high school but still I don't know how they get to just go wherever they want to and stay gone all the time but in at the end of the second book they uh, jumped from this world to another world and supposedly this other world is where this main character girl came from and she has very vague memories of her mother there. So that's where she has gone to now and all of her companions with her and she has several. So this book starts out with her and half of her companions on this other world but her very best best friend stayed behind instead of making the jump with them because she's fighting a mean monster character that's wanting to kill this main character I don't understand why but she is anyway these, these are really very good. And any young people out there that would like to have some good books to read, these are very good. There was the first two, and then this one is the third one, and I already showed you the first two. So thank you, Francis Tiger, for sending me this one, and I'm looking forward to reading it. The next thing I want to address is something that has been puzzling me for quite a while now, and I really don't know who to ask about it, but since it's in, since it's in videos that falls on the side of my YouTube channel a lot as, as uh, suggestions, I'm going to ask all of you because maybe some of you understand but I don't. There are many uh, uh, videos that are dropping and have been dropping. Let me get this thing fixed a little straighter. That says iceberg in them. And I have no idea what that means. And once I tried to watch something on there and I didn't hear it explaining anything what the iceberg meant. Sometimes it even shows a picture of an iceberg on the video. But the video might be totally about something else. Like, I know one of them says, uh, Skyrim such and such iceberg. Or some other game, iceberg or just some talking video, an iceberg. 
if anybody out there can explain to me what this iceberg is supposed to represent, please, please do. Because they keep falling in my side of my screen as suggestions and I have no idea what it is. So thank you for helping stupid grandma. <laughs> I'm going to throw that in the trash. The other thing is this young man sent me this book way back when I was pretty much first writing my story about the young wizard Dorkly and he wanted me to write the story in this and send it back to him. He sent me his name, his address, and everything. Oh, oh, this was when I started writing the second story. Um, um, let me see here. The Phantom of the Woods. Remember that one? I really liked writing that one. The Phantom of the Woods. Anyway, I had this written in here. And it only takes up to this much of the book. So I certainly have more uh, room to write anything else I might write in the future. Although I don't think uh, the young wizard darkly will fit in here because I'm going to be starting a sequel to that book. So maybe both of them would have went in here, but not with this one in here also. And it's already written in here. But my problem is this young man's name is Christian Doust. I think that's how you pronounce your last name. And his address is in Quebec. I have written him a letter. I have told him that this is finished. And whether and does he want me to mail it to him? Or does he want me to keep it and write more in it until I have it full? I don't know. And he has n not answered me. So, Christian Doust, D A O U S T, I sent that letter to the address that you have written here. So, would you please, please answer it? I assumed, since you sent me your address and everything, that when you sent me this, you told me to send it back. So I assumed that you wanted me to send it back. <laughs> so please, get in touch with me so I know what to do with this. If you want me to leave it that empty, or if you want me to keep it and fill it up, I don't know what you want me to do with it. I should just stick it in an envelope and send it back. But I really would like to hear from you first. And thank you in advance. And that's the only three things that I had laying here to talk to you about. So I don't think I have anything else. No, I don't. So that's it. And I will talk to you later. Goodbye, grandkids.